This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. There is no denying that the players at Kentucky under Mark Stoops are more talented than they have been in recent years. More talented players, more physical players means practices can be tough. The coaches can push the players to the limit in preparing them for the season. And because of the tougher practices, Stoops believes the players will be able to perform better on Saturdays. I feel really good about the amount of work we were able to get done this summer. I feel like we, it's nice to be able to practice a little more physical and have a little bit of depth and, and just have those practices where you could really work it and you feel like uh, you've got a good chance because you've got some guys that are strong enough to, to move some people when they have to and, and defensively stop them as well. The Wildcats will need to be prepared for their season opener. Louisiana Lafayette has won nine games in four straight seasons and has also won four consecutive bowl games. Head coach Mark Hudspeth knows playing at Commonwealth Stadium will not be easy for his team, but also feels confident and just wants his team to play hard and stick to its game plan. You know, I don't want our team to feel feel any pressure going in, in, into this game. I just want our team to go in and play hard, execute, and play the way we play. And, and uh, our football team, you know, we know how to win football games around here. And, uh, you know, I just want our guys to play hard. I want us to execute, um, take care of the football, follow our plan to win. And, um, and if we do that, hopefully we can uh, play, play well and make it competitive. A tough late inning loss Tuesday night for the Cincinnati Reds against the Chicago Cubs, but some afternoon baseball today to try and bounce back on the road. Reds at Cubs series finale this afternoon in Chicago, tied at two in the fifth when Rysiel Iglesias helps out his own cause, sends one deep to right center field, slides in safely for a run scoring triple, three to two Reds. Four to two in the eighth and Chris Bryant greets J.J. Hoover with a towering shot to left, clears the wall for a game tying home run. We're tied at four to the ninth. Joey Votto at the dish. Here's Tom Brenneman. And Votto delivers in the ninth. Oh, doctor. Gotta love Tom Brenneman. Votto would go ahead. Three run bomb to left center is 27th of the year. Aroldis Chapman converts his 27th save and the Reds win the series against the Cubbies. Seven to four the final this afternoon. Coming up, we hear from Paintsville about this week's game of the week with Pikeville and number three Johnson Central goes on the road Friday to battle Lexington Catholic. The Johnson Central Golden Eagles kicked off the 2015 season last Friday with a 41 to six win over Fairland, Ohio. Now the Eagles turn their attention to Lexington Catholic this Friday. Head coach Jim Matney says that will be a much tougher task for his young team, specifically for his offensive line. But he believes playing teams like Lexcath will only help prepare his team come district time and for the postseason. We really didn't know what to expect opening night. I think our kids played pretty well. We made a lot of mistakes. Uh, I wouldn't say that we're a good football team right now. I think we're an average team right now, but I think that we have the potential to be a very, very good football team after our kids get a little experience, especially the kids on the offensive line. Staying on the high school gridiron in Johnson County, our Appalachian Wireless Game of the Week takes us to Paintsville Friday night, an undefeated Class A matchup between the number 10 Paintsville Tigers and the ninth-ranked Pikeville Panthers. The Tigers knocked out Pikeville in the second round of the playoffs last year, but head coach Joe Chirico knows his team has a tall task ahead of them. We, in the past, haven't had a lot of success. You know, Paintsville in the last 10 years has been down and uh, we're just starting to get ourselves rolling. So it's not hard to uh, humble our kids and understand that, you know, we got to go to work no matter who we play. We have to practice hard every day to have a chance to win on Friday night. Now, every time Painesville takes the field this season, a lot of focus will be on senior Cash Daniel, who has, of course, committed to play next season at the University of Kentucky. Last week in the Tigers' 43 to nothing win over Frankfurt, Daniel scored three total touchdowns as well as record 16 tackles defensively. Former UK quarterback Freddie Maggard was in attendance and gives us his thoughts on the future Wildcat. Quarterback wise, he can actually throw. Uh, he cut his elbow, missed one play, wrapped it up, came back in and played. Uh, he's a powerful runner, can, can throw the ball if necessary. Uh, defensively, what impressed me was how fundamentally advanced he is. 
for a high school senior, meaning when a play goes horizontally, he can scrape and make the tackle. Uh, he, he, he defended the pass one-on-one -on -one effectively against a fast Frankfurt receiver. So that shows me that Cash Daniel, if he continues to progress at 6'3", 250 pounds, could play immediately once he gets to Kentucky. It is now time to announce our high school football player of the week from week one of the season. Whitley County senior quarterback Luke Woods had a monster game against Middlesbrough last week, completing six of 11 pass attempts for 122 yards and a touchdown, but also carried the ball 24 times for 347 yards and five more touchdowns, helping lead the Colonels to their first win of the season, 47-38 over the Yellow Jackets and Tanner. We've had a couple of games of the week already this year, some good ones, but Friday night, Pikeville and Painesville could be one of the better ones we've had in the last couple of years. Yeah, that was one that when we made the schedule and it came out, that was one <laughs> you had circled a couple of times, really looking forward to, because last year, Pikeville beats them in the regular season. Painesville knocks Pikeville out in the playoffs, so some pretty good storylines. A play lot there. of intrigue with this one statewide, not just here in the mountains. All right, Josh, thanks. We'll name our U-Pike Mountain Student Achiever after this.